Hello everyone, this is video number three of the huge haul that I got for free from a friend of mine who only listens to stuff on digital and loves vinyl. I have to go through all my vinyl just to see if I can repay the favor. Um, so this is video number three. This is box, well, this is the second box that looks like this. Um, there were two smaller boxes before and, um, yeah, they, I was able to go through those on one video. That was a 22 minute video. The first one this size was 20 minutes. So let's get right into this. My first, the last video, uh, some of the highlights on that was a Demo Bergier CD that I did not have. I believe some sweet, uh, Dio um, Black Sabbath, um, a Sepultura or two that I did not have. Um, there's, I've just seen so many things. We'll start out with sticks caught in the act. I was gonna not tell you, ah, I don't, I don't, I'll tell you maybe if I don't have it. Poison. I don't have that sticks, by the way. Ah, uh, what is this? Verita? What is this? I don't know. He has some really crazy stuff. Trailer Bride. Thin Lizzy Jailbreak. Oh my gosh. Have I ever told you how much my wife loves Thin Lizzy and Train? Um, Balsa de Agua. The Gourds. What is this? Minnesotaartist.org. I wonder if there's anybody I know on there. I'm not sure. I'm not going to look now. I do not have this Judas Priest. This is one with uh, Ripper on it, I believe. I am not a big fan of Ripper Owens. Leftover Salmon. Some Tribute to Aerosmith. Might be interesting. More than likely not. Tough. What the hell? I remember this band. Oh, look at these names. Todd Chase. Michael Lean. Stevie Rochelle and Jorge de Saint or Georges de Saint. That looks like a lot of hair metal going on. That's awesome. Some black label society. Queen's right greatest hits. I wonder if there's anything on there that I need. Moonlight. Classics. I bet you Moonlight Sonata is someplace on there. Oh, yep. Disc 2. Moonlight Sonata. Beethoven 25 favorites. Some interesting stuff in here. Let's see. Black Crows. Winger. I don't think I have this. Last Action Hero. I believe there is a Megadeth song on here. Queensryche. Fishbone. I think there's a few songs on here that I don't have. What's this? Lillian Axe, Best Of, right? Yep. Devin Townsend, Official Bootleg 2000. I like Devin Townsend on um, Steve Vai's Sex and Religion, but I'm not a real big fan of his solo stuff or his, um, what is that? Or his uh, Strapping Young Lads. Okay, so Drive By Truckers. I don't know if Jason Isbell was still in the band at this point, 
let us see. I think it's interesting that um, the drive-by truckers got rid of Jason Isbell and then after he started his solo career, he just became huge and I don't hear anything about the drive-by truckers anymore. Duran Duran Greatest Hits. Night Songs. Original Keeper of the Seven Keys on Noise. I don't have this. I forgot Glenn was such a big Saigon Kick fan, which is awesome because I had, oh, that was another one in that last uh, box. There was a Saigon Kick album that I have never, ever seen before. And it wasn't a bootleg either. Um, it, it was an official thing, I think. I'm pretty sure. Some Black Label Society. Some Cowboy Junkies. Cinderella. I have to switch arms because I recorded two drum tracks tonight. Um, I, over the last four weeks, I had three weeks in a row where I was recording the same drum track until I finally got it. And last week, I finally got that damn thing. Um... And then tonight I did two. One I wrote completely tonight. The other one I had like about 20% of it written. And I finished both of them tonight and we recorded them. So my shoulder is kind of not in the best condition. Corrosion of Conformity live volume and Coverdale page. I figured I might as well talk to you guys and see. I mean, you can read hours. Uncle Tupelo again. Apparently, I'm not going to talk to you. King for a day. Some Nick Drake. Blue Rodeo. Chips Enough, Strange Times. I wonder if my buddy Rob has this. I'm going to leave that one out. Soul Asylum, I already have that. Old 97 Fight Songs. I... Old 97s. Oh, that is awesome, because there are some Lillian Axe albums that I need, and there's some coming up here. Alejandro. Some Dire Straits. Roy Orbison with Friends. As I said in the last two, interesting, it looks like he turned the uh, cover on this Ozzy inside out. I never understood why they just didn't do that and they did those stupid ones. I don't have osmosis. I was just looking at my Aussie stuff last week. This is awesome because it does have a King's X song on it. Actually, it has a lot of stuff. Steve Vai, King's X, Primus, Megadeth. Faith No More, Slaughter, Winger, Kiss, Neverland, Richie Kotzen, and Steve Vai again. This was a good soundtrack. I don't have Faith No More album of the year. Nor do I have Lillian Axe live in 2002. I think I have this already. And Hours again. I remember people telling me that he kind of sounded like Jeff Buckley. We have a friend named Brian who I think was a big, big fan of, um, of ours. Who's this? Demon Knight soundtrack. Apparently we're getting to 
the soundtrack area. Dan Byrne. Some more Dan Byrne. Beggars and Thieves. I remember them kind of. What the hell's that? Bottle Rockets. I believe that's one of the bands that he talks about quite a bit. Robbie Folks, no idea who that is. I've seen a few of them pop up so far. Uh, Anthrax, State of Euphoria. Wow, it's already nine minutes into this video. Do you like how I tell you how long you've been wasting your time watching these? New York Dolls, Dancing Backwards in High Heels. Some more Anthrax. Some more Anthrax. I don't know if I have this. Sabbath Reunion. Kelly Joe Phelps. I'm not sure who that is. Trailer Bride. The High Seas. I don't know. We're getting into areas of artists that I'm not familiar with, like more Kelly, Joe Phelps. Kelly Joe Phelps. Scorpions, face the heat. My buddy Jay is looking for a bunch of scorpions, so I will give this to him. I have to double check, though, to make sure that my version, I thought I had some weird German version. A very odd version of um, Fistful of Metal. I've never seen this version. I also don't have Attack of the Killer Bees. I could turn it like this. Oh, awesome. I don't have this. I think this is a original uh, Annihilator, Alice in Hell. I love the fact that there is a <coughs> Superstars of Metal or Rock uh, playing card. Tim O'Brien. Which way should I put this? What if I went like this? No. Songs from the Mountain. Nah, let's put it. We're going back. Awesome. I don't think I have this. There are a few Misfits things that I might be missing. Nah, I think I have both of those. I'm not sure. I'll find out. Rhett Miller. He looks like, um, like a teen pop singer from the 70s. <clears throat> Buddy Miller. Not sure about him. Moody Blues caught live, plus five. If I take my hand off of this box, it's gonna fall over. If you have watched the, th you know, including this one, three videos of me taking shit out of boxes, <clears throat> thank you for joining me and, and watching and, uh, it's been very interesting seeing what stuff Glenn still had. As I said before in the first video, he had some um, some European metal stuff and prog that he had already given to other people. And I'm like, oh, you should have told me. But, you know, I am super stoked with all of this stuff. I probably had everything except for those, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what did he have? He had, oh, he had some, um, Spock's beard that I probably would have been really stoked to get. But he gave it to a youngin who needs to have stuff. A youngin. I think the guy's Dave Wilcox? I'm not sure. Um, I think the kid is like... 19 or 23 or whatever this is sweet uh, I just purchased the single disc version of this and this is the two disc version that's awesome oh speaking of proggers 
uh, Neil Morse and the Moody Blues, a Bruce Springsteen uh, three inch single. It says it has an adapter. Let's just check. No, it doesn't. One Step, Roulette, and Lucky Man, and then another one for Cover Me and Pink Cadillac. Gotta tell you, Pink Cadillac is one of my least favorite um, Springsteen songs. Least favorite. So let's get this right here. I don't know. We're at 15 minutes. Just got a few more. Tom Fit Petty, Full Moon Feather. Burning for Buddy. This is uh, something that Neil Pert did. That's cool. I've been looking for that. Well, I haven't really been actively looking for it, but it's cool to have in my collection. Dropkick Murphys. Some Blue Mountain. Looks like they got done with high school and decided to go do an album. Some Johnny Cash. Tom Petty. Some more Tom Petty. Some Dead Man Walking. Didn't Springsteen do? Yeah. Sean Colvin. Bootleg. Shepherd's Bush. Set 97. Only got two more uh, stacks. Oh, cool. Ever Eve. I passed on this a little while ago. They had this one and the Swan one. And so that's awesome to have in the collection. Some more Sean Colvin. Some more Sean Colvin. Some more Sean Colvin. Operation Mindcrime. Cry of Love, which is a fantastic album. Corrosion of Conformity. Oh, I remember people talking about this. I remember working at a record store when this came out and just thinking it was horrendous. Um, and then when I became a Black Sabbath fan after that, I thought it was even worse, but I'll, I'll check it out. I do not have this. This is kind of where... I stop with uh, Danzig. This is where he kind of stopped being good. Everything else after this kind of was whatever. But look at those abs. He had uh, abs of steel. Persistence of time. The original version of Kiss. This is pretty cool. I think I have this version too. Europe, final countdown. It's a final countdown. Where are we? Full Monty. This is a fantastic album. I don't know um, if you've ever heard of the band Mind Rot, but I believe one or two, maybe two or three of the guys from Mind Rot became Eyes of Fire. And this thing is actually damn good. I already have that. Some Anthrax. Some Daryl Scott. I'm sorry about the... Uh, quickness I'm doing this otherwise these videos would be forever dream theater images and words creep show which is I believe a uh, psychobilly band I think they're called psychobilly I'm not sure I think this girl in the band also is in another band but I'm not sure I'll have to do some digging he told me about a Kid Rock CD being in here, and I said, oh, so if I find it in there, then, then you'll need that back because you're such a huge Kid Rock fan. And he said, no, I just wanted to let you know so you can throw it out as soon as you see it. Some classical, Berlioz, I think that's how you pronounce it. I like, I'm always interested when uh, people have CDs that are unopened. Sometime Tomorrow by C Zero Budget Records. Um, Sarah Berelius, or whatever her name is. 
some more Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Um, Man the Destroyer. I'm not familiar with that. Duran Duran Decade. I have went from having zero meatloaf to having like four or five meatloaf CDs in my collection now. Mike Plum Band. Two more left. Stone or er, Temple of the Dog. And last but not least, Bap Kennedy. What is this called? Lonely Street. Yeah. All right. 20 minutes. One more box left and then we'll be done.